What's up, Prize 5 fans? I'm Brian Tong, and streaming TV services have finally made it into our homes. So, we're bringing you a Prize 5 punch out between Sling TV and PlayStation View. Our judges for this fight are CNET senior editor David Man on Fire Katzmeyer. Nice muscles. And yours truly, Can't Go Wrong Tong. Eh -eh. These services are brand spanking new, so we're not scoring them, but we're going to decide a winner for each round. The final prize fight, King of the Ring, will be the competitor with the most rounds won. Let's get it on. Round one is interface and design. Sling TV primarily sticks to a single row for all your stations, and you can view the content plane above it. PlayStation View brings a layout more like Netflix with multiple rows of content based on your timeline, shows, and recent channels. It's a lot more customizable with favorites. You'll also have the traditional grid guide as an option, and the interface is faster and more responsive than Sling TV. Most PlayStation View users will be using a game controller to navigate, which might not be ideal, versus a more traditional remote for Sling TV users, unless you're on an Xbox. This round's tight, but we're giving the edge to Sony. Round two is platform. With any service, it's all about who's on more devices, and this one's not even close. At the moment, Sling TV can be used on a Roku player, Amazon Fire TV, and the Xbox One. It works on your Mac or your PC, and also plays on iOS and Android devices. Android TVs and Nexus player support are also coming soon. Now, the PlayStation View works on your PS3 and your PS4. That's it. On top of that, it's currently only available in Chicago, New York City, and Philadelphia. Like I said, this one's not even close, and Sling TV dominates round two. Round three is features. PlayStation View acts like a cable box with the ability to pause and rewind every channel, skip commercials, and you can use its cloud DVR to save your favorite shows for up to 28 days. You can also stream from three consoles at the same time, but they have to be in the same household. Sling TV was the first to market, but it doesn't really bring any feature advantage other than the ability to use its bandwidth limiter. It also has channel-specific limits that hurts a lot, so most channels don't allow you to pause, rewind, or fast forward, and you're allowed one and only one stream on one device at one time per account. This round's a no-brainer, PlayStation View. Round four is channels. Sling TV's basic service starts off with a core of 21 channels that covers most of the cable go-tos like ESPN, CNN, AMC, TNT, and the Food Network. Now, it's still missing networks like Comedy Central and Bravo, but brings on extra packages to add more channels relevant to interests like sports, lifestyle, and kids programming. Plus, HBO has been added as an option to get your Game of Thrones fix. Now, PlayStation View's basic access plan brings 50-plus channels with content from CBS, Fox, NBC, and Viacom, so you'll find channels like Bravo and Comedy Central and Nickelodeon, but there are no ABC Disney networks, so say goodbye to channels in that family like ESPN. Additional plans let you add on local sports, and an elite plan brings on 88 total channels. Variety is the spice of life, and Sony takes another round, but the final round comes down to pricing. Sling TV starts at $20 a month for the core 20 plus channels, and you can cancel at any time. The additional extra packages cost $5 a pop, and the HBO channel will cost you $15 a month. PlayStation View's basic access plan is a lot more starting at $49.99 a month. The core plan with local sports costs $59.99, and then the elite package with 88 channels is $69.99. Is basically like paying for an actual cable service. Even though Sling TV has many limitations, with View, you're paying the same as cable or even more with fewer channels. Round five goes to Sling. So let's break down the results, and the Sling TV made its mark for its platform support and pricing, while PlayStation View won out with its interface, features, and channel selection, taking this battle three rounds to two and is your prize fight winner. Now, I can't really say there's a clear winner here, and both services still have a long ways to go, but a combination of an over-the-air antenna and one of these services might be the best for you. But for me, I'm a sports junkie, and I don't like how sporting events lose their image quality and just aren't as smooth compared to a cable signal right now. I'm Brian Tong, 
Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all next time for another prize fight.